Hey, how's it going, Star Wars fans? This is the Gerbil. Sorry for my four-month absence. Got to admit, it's been crazy busy. Life's been good for me. I can't complain. It's been super busy. I've been studying Chinese, hitting that almost 30 hours a week all summer long, then back to work, and it was just insane. But anyway, this is about how to beat Challenge Tier 3. How to beat it in under five minutes. I think actually it's about four minutes, 20 seconds here, give or take. And you can see that if you watch the bottom right corner, basically I'm just spamming the uh, special event feature, which is called Counter Watch. Why am I doing that? I'm not even trying to use the Rebel's abilities. It doesn't really matter. See, check out the Counter Watch feature here. It says, gain a heal over time effect, 15%. That's okay, but really not effective here. Retribution, that's what you gotta get. You get that retribution so that they counter strike. Plus 50% offense for one turn, which is gonna help you a lot more than it sounds. These buffs cannot be dispelled. In addition, a 50% chance to call an assist. Now this is what really matters because that assist goes to the end of the battle, not the phase, not the turn, the end of the battle. And this is where people don't realize how effective that is. Once you get that on each of your tunes, including C-3PO, you win. I mean, that's just like how it comes down. Of course, now you gotta have high level relics to beat this and you gotta have really good mods so I'll show my mods at the end and I'm gonna I'm not lying this is my arena team I'm top 200 every day uh, sometimes I can be I can make it like number 60 but there's about a hundred galactic legends in my shard now and I don't really beat them I have a chance against supreme leader but whoo no it's just usually a loss but uh, anyway so you, you spam that counter watch feature, and what happens is every time a rebel takes a turn, three Baka assists. If they're guarded, Chewbacca assists. So if you, if CLS is already giving them a chance to counter strike, which they do, and then this counter watch gives them retribution when you get it on, basically every time you get hit, you're going to be counter striking. And so let's say C3PO counter strikes. Well, it's no damage, right? But three Baka is going to assist there for about 30 to, well, anywhere from 15 to 30,000 damage uh, at this tier. But then with that 50% chance for the assist, let's suppose it hits uh, Han Solo who shoots, which gives Chewie an assist and then Han shoots again. And then since Han and Chewie and through Baka all assisted out of turn, they each have a 50% chance to call in another assist. So um, C-3PO or uh, Commander Luke, and before you know it, every one of them is assisting out of turn. And so those AOE spams that the Stormtroopers are throwing down, many times you'll see that the Rebel team takes the hit and all of the, the, the Rebels counter-strike killing that one trooper like right there did you see that he took the, the 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 trooper the scout trooper attacked once and then the counter strike led to three or four maybe even five uh retribution counter strikes that killed him uh, and that's it now uh this is my second time to film this actually because the first time i got obliterated in tier eight or, or uh, phase eight which does totally happen i entered it with no turn meter on on the team and it was just like a spam kill, right? Vader did his little Rogue One action, um, threw his saber calling blade and just took out Han Solo in one shot. Then I think it was uh, uh, Thrawn fractured through Baca, and at that point it's just game. It's like, you, you gotta have those two in here to happen. So this time I was a little more cautious here in phase seven. You can see I'm going a little bit slower entering, trying to make sure I have some turn meter lined up. And watch this, watch how simplistic this is. Okay, you start off by stunning Palpy, then you try to kill Vader before he does his, his Rogue One scene. All right, so we'd knock him down a bunch and then we get all those assists in there and he's gone, right? Don't use your your Rebel special abilities until here. Save them, just spam that counter watch button as much as you can. Then here you can use all of them, right? Han's um, special attacks, Luke's, and especially C-3PO's to call the whole team in there. And you can see uh, these, these guys haven't even taken a turn yet and they're down. Oh, there's an attack. All right, one Royal Guard got an attack in. That's it, one, to the end. Check out how awesome that was. Ooh. All right, now let's take a quick look at my, uh, my speed and offense and stuff. You can see where my mods are.
Uh, here we got Commander Luke Skywalker. You can see I got health and speed on him. I know health is not optimal, but his speed, look at that, plus 153. Those are god mods. I'm not lying. Uh, and then the damage is 85, 53, which is not insane for him. You can get him much higher. Now, Chewbacca here has incredible attack. 275 speed, but 10,350 attack. But he is not the heavy hitter. Um, C-3PO, I've got him modded for speed and health again because I put these on very early in the game. But he's pushing 303 with his ability. Damage doesn't matter, so potency is what matters. It's about 115. That's pretty strong. Uh, Han Solo, I've got critical damage and potency. You need that potency. I don't care what people say. And his uh, speed is 272 with 8,500 attack power. And that's, again, that's not the highest. You can I've seen people push him up. Uh, 9,095, maybe even higher. Now here we go, three Bach. Oh, 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 hey, 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 I can upgrade that mod. Uh, 16 speed, but look at that. Great offense, high crit chance, defense. I don't care about that. What are we gonna get, what are we gonna get? Ah, oh, oh, that's frustrating, defense. Okay, anyway, he is the heaviest hitter on the team by far. 291 speed, and you don't gotta worry about it because he assists 10,361 offense. Woo!